Hey there Titans, in this video I will show you how to um, set the uh, signer index on your custom preview. So we have a previous video showing you how to set up the uh, DocSign custom, custom view in your Salesforce either with a, a flow builder or with a Aura component, you can do LWC as well, but we have uh, examples on Aura and um, flow builder. And what we want to achieve here, so I'm not, I'm not going to go into all the stuff we've done in the past because we have a video showing how to set it up from scratch. Um, what I want to show you here is a new added functionality to be able to control the orders of which the um, signers will get their emails. So let's say we have three signers here and first signer gets the um, blue or purple fields and second one gets only to sign this one and the third one gets to sign the green one or yellow one. Um, so that's great. But what if we want to keep these the same? So let's say I want this signer, which I configured through Salesforce, still sign the, the, the blue fields or purple fields. And, but I want him to get the email last. So the way this works, so if we have three signers, we first send to this first signer to sign, he signs, a, he signs his document, then the second user gets the email on the third one and then everything is complete and we push your uh, final document onto Salesforce or do digitally sign it or whatever else it is you're doing. Um, so in this video, I'll show you how to control this order and still keep the uh, first signer getting the, the assigned the, the correct fields um, and just reversing the email order. All right, so what we've done here is uh, I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is the Aura component that I've demoed before. And we're sending, we just cre created a quick wrapper and Apex and we're sending it to the form to the form builder, to our form Titan package, DocSign helper, get advanced signature URL JSON and we're p putting a JSON in there from the, URL co from the Aura component. And in the component, we have all the uh, allow users config, all the configurations for for that um, for the uh, custom preview in the in the um, component configuration on the um, Lex page. Um, the only thing we're doing in the JavaScript is we're just building the um, signer structure, and we're sending it with the complete JSON to uh, doc to uh, DocSign for us to get a preview URL. All right, so what we've added here is uh, the signer index. And what will what will this do? It will dictate which um, um, signer in your JSON will get to sign in which order. So in my instance, I just reversed the order. So I've taken the first and I gave him to be last and, and, and the first to be and the last to be first. And just so we can see how this happens and still the fields assignment and the signature stays the same. So it doesn't change the assignment of the fields, just the way that they will get the emails. All right, so let's see how this works. And <clears throat> I'll head back to my um, Salesforce. And I'm just gonna add in my opportunity page because we're working with opportunities here and I threw my our component over here. And I've set up um, allow users. This is my app. It gets a um, form hash API key, and then we're setting up all the uh, doc sign attributes. So allow users config, allow upload. I set to false. Everything else to true. And your expiration for twenty minutes. And what we're going to do now is just click this thing, and we'll see what happens. So this basically takes my contact roles and puts them as a signer. And let's just see what happened here. So we have three signers and we see the Jack Rogers um, is first, but still is yellow, which means he gets to sign only the, the yellow part. And Mr. Hello Donkey is last. He will get the, he will get to sign last. And basically once he signed, the document is complete. He gets to be assigned to the uh, purple field which is uh, he, he's got three fields to sign. So this is perfect and this is what we want it to happen. So if I'll head back to my JSON that I just sent to DocSign, I can see that Mr. Jack Rogers got to be first because he's the signer index and Andy Young is first and um, got the number one, which means he's second. And then we have Hello Donkey is last with two. 
Um, so that's perfect. And still, something you always have to think about is that the JSON, whatever we get in the JSON first, will get the first field. So this to be assigned to. So the first one, the first signer that we get in the JSON will have assigned the first signer fields that he needs to fill up in this instance three. And then you can control the email order to the signer with that property we just gave. So that's great. So let's just say I, I do send, let's just see if this works. So I click send <coughs> and I'm supposed to get an email for uh, Jack Rogers. All right, document was sent. I'm just gonna check my email real quick. And there it is. And if I'll click here, then um, I'll, I'll click the uh, finish sign. I can see I need to sign only the L part. Let's select this signature. I'll do this, I'll hit confirm, and I'll do finish sign. And now the next one in line will get it which is uh, Andy Young, and uh, this is how it's done.